Hey, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We are here at Club Passim in Cambridge with Melissa Farrick. Melissa, thank you for being here. Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> People live clapping in the show. It's crazy. This feels so good in my heart. Cool. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. And um, yeah, I thought I'd start off with this song called Home. Down the spine of a sand dune onto a crushed seashell road. We walked barefoot and hungry to your car. And the sun took all the salt from my bodies in the air. Pulled out our words. There's nothing like being quiet with the one you love. No, there's nothing like being quiet with the one you love. So let's go running, laughing through a summer storm. Fumble up the stairs to find all the windows open. And I'm feeling happy everywhere inside my body. I want to be where you take me. I adjust because you are love and love is home. Yes, you are love and love is home. Gossip-filled room You look at me And just know by the way I'm gripping on to this chair And by the way I sent you the signal, baby Get me the fuck out of here There's nothing like it Being seen by the one you love Let's go running Laughing through a summer storm Fumble up the stairs To find all the windows open And I'm feeling happy Everywhere inside of my body I'd like to be where you take me I adjust because You are love Love is home Love is home, love is home, love is home You are love And love is home So give me slow Days filled with ease Gentle breeze with no humidity kind of heat Resting on your every beat as we walk in time And I got my back, my back is up against nothing I got a future, my future looks bright And it feels like falling in love with you is like how some people describe Going into the light and I've got my demons on vacation you know, my thoughts are free to roam And when I can kiss you without committing treason I earned this Cause I did my time alone I did it running, laughing through a summer storm Fumble up the stairs to find all the windows open And I'm feeling happy everywhere inside of my body And I'd like to be where you take me Our love and love is home. Love is home, love is home, love is home. You are love and love is home. Yes, you are love and love is home. Nice. That sounds great. It's been a, a total pleasure getting to know you over the last hour and, and hanging. <laughs> the sound check has sounded great. This is a total delight. Um, and this place, Passim, is, I mean, you've been playing here for a while, as is evidenced by this picture. I'm about to show the oh internet of you yeah. drumming on a, looks like a, a, a beer box uh, in the late 90s at the Campfire Festival here. Yeah, I think that that, yeah. I, what I was saying to Matt was that, as you can see in the picture, if people can see it, I have my tongue out a little bit like this and I have a picture of myself when I'm five playing the violin which was the first instrument I played and, I, and I'm also sticking I seem to stick my tongue out when I'm concentrating it's slightly embarrassing but seems like a habit I have kept up so 
<laughs> so is this is this uh, campfire set one of the more memorable for you, or can you can you recount any uh, any particular Passim uh, gigs that have oh that have stood God. out to there's, you? Yeah, there's so many at Passim. I mean, this place is just so important to not only all the songwriters across the nation or in the world for that matter, but certainly for up and coming singer songwriters. And when I first started playing, I was like. 19 or 20, and I tried to get a gig here. And I remember, Matt knows the story, but they wouldn't let me play because I was too loud. And um, because it was like a real folky club. And then, you know, and then we had the surge of, you know, Sinead O'Connor and Edie Brickell and the New Bohemians. And we had Suzanne Vega and Sean Colvin and like just all these, Tracy Chapman, all these amazing people who were being a little bit loud, you know, and and, um, things switched and I got booked here and it just changed my life. I've played here. When I first started, I've, and I've pay, played here, sold out multiple nights, and I think the thing that stands out the most for me, though, is probably my day after Christmas shows. I've been playing December 26th for years. I, th- I think like 15 or 16 years now, maybe more. Um, the Boxing and, Day yeah. show, would you say you might maybe play some uh, percussion on a box on those Boxing Day shows? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. No, I've never done, I know, but I definitely do like to pretend that I'm a drummer, but I'm not a drummer. I play drums on some of my own records and it's it's quite terrible, but, but I do it anyway because I feel like, you know, if you have fun while you're playing, people can feel that, so... Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, your your joy playing definitely comes across to me in this room. I'm positive it's coming across to the internet right now. We've got a great crowd and people are happy awesome. with your music. So thank you for sharing it at any volume. We'd love to have you anytime. <laughs> um, and okay. there's a lot more. There's uh, There are three songs still coming up. What are you going to play second today? Yeah, I thought I'd play this song called When Tom Sings. And this is a song that I wrote, actually... I was driving in the car, and um, I was having a really hard time. (laughs) Shocking. Most songwriters do have hard times and then write songs. But I was having a really hard time about something I don't remember, and I had my hands on the steering wheel, and I had both of my hands at the top of the steering wheel or at 12 o'clock. And um, I was listening to the radio before we were all listening to just what was on our, you know, what we choose in our phone or before Spotify. And... um, uh, a song, a Radiohead song came on, and um, I don't, I think it was Karma Police, and I just started crying, and, um, and I needed to cry, you know, but I wasn't able to, and I love it when music makes me cry. So anyway, I went home, and I, and I wrote this song, and so it's called When Tom Sings. Just 
east of the Mississippi You buried your love for me in the lake effect snow But this is where I am right now At rest with us and our past And the love that I have for you uh -uh, It is always reachable Only visible Always reachable Only visible Yeah, thank you. So that one was, uh, it was on Goodbye Youth, which came out in 2008. Yeah. Which was, I mean, it makes sense. I think Tom York has given a lot of people a lot of goosebumps over the years. Um, who is really, really doing it for you right now? Who's on your playlist that's giving you that similar feeling these days? Yeah, there's no hesitation. It's Phoebe Bridgers. Nice. Completely obsessed. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just think she's incredible. She's kind of like, to me, the perfect combination of Amy Mann and like, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I might like throw like an old school, like Dan Byrne, which a lot of people probably won't know Dan Byrne, but she rem she's just reminding me of kind of, I don't know. I, I just, I, I think what she's doing is awesome. I love the sounds of, it's got, maybe I would say like Amy Mann and Liz Fair. And Bonnie Vare, like if they all merged, they would have Phoebe Bridgers, <laughs> kind of. So I don't know if she even knows any of those artists, but yeah, I think her lyrics are incredible. Her melodies are awesome. I love her uh, her visual, the way she is and comfortable in her self and um, unapologetic. I just think I just think she's incredible. So yeah, yeah, the real deal and the, the whole the whole package. Yeah. Um, do you got do you guys cross paths ever? Have you done stuff with Phoebe Bridgers or no. you just are a fan? No, I'm a fan. I mean, I would love to hang out with Phoebe Bridgers. I teach full time now, so I will I will say that one of the awesome things about teaching, um, and I teach in the music industry department at Northeastern University, and so. Uh, I teach music industry, but I also teach an advanced songwriting class there. And so the, one of the huge blessings of it is that these students turn me on to all the new music. So I don't, so it's awesome because I don't get bitter and I don't get like stuck in my old music. I'm, I'm constantly being turned on to new, to new bands. And, um, and that's how I, that's how I found Phoebe was from a, from a student of mine. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. And that's why I, I love doing this. I mean, this these sessions are a huge source of new music discovery for me. I mean, I just am constantly listening to new stuff and interacting with artists and doing this. So this is this is awesome. Thank you for being here and making yeah. it awesome. Totally. Um, and there's a lot more music. What are you going to play third today? Well, I'm going to play. Let me um, I'm going to tune first. So I had asked before the session, I asked my fans what they wanted me to play. And so just to kind of get an idea. So this is an old song. This is a song called Nebraska that it always shocks me that people want to hear it. I don't know 
really how else to say that. But people seem to really like the song. Um, so I don't know. I guess I get surprised because I'm surprised that people like songs that come from such a like um, fierce kind of angry place. But m- we could talk about that for a long time. But I, I don't write songs that are as angry anymore because I'm less angry at 50 than I was even at 40. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this is a song called Nebraska, and I think this came out in 2005, so I was 35 and still angry, clearly. (laughs) Yeah, well, what are you waiting for? Why don't you just hurry up, pack up your stuff and go? Come on, tear up and sweat for me. Kiss me one more time Cause we knew you were better Yeah, when you were out there on your own And somewhere inside you You were always getting up the nerve Planning out your exit Taking one deep breath to fake it Your forgiveness Walking out to fight fear And her glorious roar Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, so you mentioned that you're at you're at Northeastern right now. You teach at Northeastern, and Matt was saying that you taught at Berkeley for for some time. Um, what does that balance look like for you these days? And not just in COVID times, but in general, balancing music pursuits versus uh, versus teaching in academia. I mean, is it, it you're teaching very similar things to what you're doing in music? So does it feel like you're flexing the same part of your brain to do both things, or are they different? Like, are they distinctly separate pursuits for you? Um, yeah, I think that's, that's, I think I'm still figuring that out. You know, yeah, I was, I taught at Berkeley for seven years. You know, I think the short version of this is just like, 
that about 43, I, I stopped touring full time. I just couldn't, I just didn't want to do it anymore. And I, and I had been teaching at Berkeley a little bit in summer programs. And then I decided I wanted to try to go to graduate school because I had never completed my bachelor's degree and I wanted to learn more. So I went and got my master's of education and that was like the most fun I've had outside of like when I was full-time touring. So I was teaching and learning and I just loved being in school. And then I had, and then I realized that I wasn't writing songs, you know, like cause I was writing and studying at school and teaching and yeah, you're teaching songwriting and music business and, you know, how to be a DIY indie songwriter and, uh, you know, like career stuff, but it's totally different. You know, I mean, basically, especially at Berkeley, well, and at Northeastern too, but a major part of what I'm doing there is I'm functioning as a mentor, right? So, and I, and I'm the kind of teacher where if I'm not learning, then I shouldn't be teaching, right? So like, I really kind of feel like we're in the learning together and that's what's really fun about it. So I really like doing it, but I've been trying in the last, I would say, five years to learn how to tend to my own artistic uh, output while I'm integrating my work as a professor and as a learner, right, as I'm continuing to learn how to teach and, and, and exist in that world. Because it is a different world and it's a different culture. Um, so I am writing again now, and I've been putting out songs on, you know, First Friday band camps, and I've been... And I am in the middle of doing a, I have, my, my first album came out in 1993, so 2023 will be 30 years, and so I am doing a 30-year double album retrospective that nice. I've been working on. Thanks, yeah. So that just started, and I've got some new stuff coming out, too, um, in the next six months, I would say. So I'm kind of, I feel like I'm lit up again. So, yeah, the teaching will continue, but, yeah, I, I have to learn to, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of one of those people that, I have a hard time doing more than, like when I'm doing something, I do it a, like crazy focused. <laughs> and so I just was like teaching and I was like going to grad school. And when I'm touring and making music, I'm like only doing that. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, if I'm not trying to work stuff out, then I get bored. So I guess it's good that I'm still, still learning how to have a foot. I don't know that I can, you can ever have two feet in the same place. That kind of seems impossible. Look, if you have two feet in the same place, you're not walking or running. So there's a good metaphor. So Nice. Well, thank you for, I and mean, that was very, very, very well put. I'm, thank I you. Wish I, just, that, I just made it up. Yeah. And it, it, <laughs> sounded, it sounded wonderful. And I'm sure that you are the best of teachers. That w- I would love it if every, every teacher out there had a similar outlook. That's, <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, we appreciate your time. I'm sure your students do as well. Sure. Thank you for being here at Pasim today. And, uh, and there's one more song that you're going to play last. What's coming up last today? Yeah, let me tune for this, and then I'll tell you. We've got a great crowd tuned in right now. There's a lot of people on the other side of these lenses oh, right good. now. Oh, good. Yeah. I wonder, where is everybody tuned in from? Do we have, is this a, a U.S. crowd? Do we have an international crowd? I wonder. I'm not looking at the comment section oh, right I, now. I, I just thought no, you I'm were like doing internet. that thing. I'm like, cool, he's checking, he's talking to the people. <laughs> he's got the chat. Because I'm with his Zoom teaching, I'm like, I know how to do all that. I could bring up the chat, but I don't want to break the computer that's actually sending the stream out. Yeah, right? Um, sorry, this is a little bit of a... Situ- this is an intense tuning, and if I don't get it right, it ruins the song. All right. Yeah, this is a song called Careful, and this is one of the songs that all of us wait for, which means that I didn't have to really work on it. Um, it came out of the sky at me, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it kind of came out all at once. Uh, I had to do a little bit of a little bit of editing, but but not much. And um, anyway, this is on my newest record. It's called Careful. None of this really makes sense. So just come in and close the door Let's leave it all to something else To show us what it is we're in for Sitting all the way across this room I just gave myself to you And every love I've ever had I want to thank for Getting me to you 
Every love I've ever had I want to thank for Getting me to you I'm gonna be careful, careful, careful I will be careful, careful, careful Gonna be careful, careful, careful Gonna be careful with you I don't know where it's got me hooked I am overwhelmed and falling Every time I start to listen to the fear I close my eyes and picture you I'm gonna let myself sink right down in To the safety of your voice When we're laying in the half dark And you're holding my face Saying we are more than all right I'm all laying in the half dark And you're holding my face Saying we are gonna be all right I'm gonna be careful, careful, careful We'll be careful, careful, careful Gonna be so careful, careful, careful Gonna be careful with you Big things, been planes up there circling. We have watched our friends collapse under their own gravity. Careful with me, please. Careful with me, please. Throw back your head, open up your hands. Come on, baby, laugh Let's not let our future down Wandering around out there in our past You're so beautiful You're so right here Kinda hurts to look But I'm gonna turn the light on Look into your eyes And feel the weight of our love Turn the light on, look into your eyes And feel the weight of our love And I'm gonna be careful, careful, careful We'll be careful, careful, careful Gonna be so careful, careful, careful I promise I'm gonna be careful with you Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you so much. Melissa, it's been a total pleasure getting to know you and listening to your music. Thanks for sharing it with us today. Um, the internet had a great time, and I had a great time. So thank you, and be safe and be well. And I hope that we just uh, we continue to cross paths in rooms like this. Thanks for joining us awesome. at Pissim today. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.